How terrible is Li Mei in Mortal Kombat 1? According to most tier lists, she's either okay or she's bottom 5. It looks like Li Mei is lacking a lot of tools in Mortal Kombat 1, but here's the thing. This character has sauce. In the right hands and with the right cameo partner, Li Mei can be a real contender in Mortal Kombat 1, but the key is you have to have the skill to do it. Or in other words, Li Mei is an underdog, alright? And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to teach you about the unique tools that Li Mei has and how you can use them to dominate online. So without any further ado, please leave a like down below if you love Li Mei or simply enjoy my videos. And without any further ado, let's begin. All right, so first up, I recommend Scorpion, okay? There's other cameos you can use, of course, but if you watch tournament gameplay, pretty much every Li Mei player is rocking Scorpion, and there's several reasons why. For starters, Scorpion gives you more damage off literally everything. Take this combo, for example. By itself, not that impressive, but add Scorpion and look at all the extra damage we're getting. Look at that, almost 35% and still didn't cost us any meter. I didn't have to spend a bar. Scorpion's just that awesome. Now, of course, if you do want to spend the bar, the combos get even flashier. And keep in mind, you don't have to use this move. Scorpion can even be summoned after the knee. Just call him in right when Li Mei touches the floor. For example, here's the same string and just look at the damage we're getting off this combo. As you can see, Scorpion's great for adding more damage to your combos, but guess what? He's also really great for mix-ups. And that's a big deal, because normally Li Mei doesn't have any mix-ups. Yeah, there's some overheads here and there, but none of them lead to a combo. So just crouch block all day and guess on the throws, and he'll be pretty fine against Li Mei. However, once you add Scorpion, you get some legit mix-ups that work quite well, especially online. For example, we have this string right here. It normally ends in a low, and it's also really good on block. It's plus seven. Yeah, Li Mei's a frame trap monster, in case you didn't know. But my point is, normally this already leads to a combo, especially with Scorpion, right? But Scorpion also brings the overhead, and since this second hit is a low, the opponent's gonna crouch block, and instead, you catch them with the overhead. Boom! They're staggered for a full combo, and you can actually summon Scorpion twice if you want to, to make the combo do some more damage, but you don't have to, because Li Mei brings the damage anyway. But this basic mix-up is just the tip of the iceberg, because, get this, Li Mei actually does have an unreactable overhead. The catch is you have to do it in the air, but look at that, 10 frames, nobody's reacting to that. And I bet you're saying, underdog, that doesn't lead to a full combo. Well, guess what? If you have the bar available, there's a follow-up that does more damage and launches the opponent into the air, and you know where I'm going with this. You can summon Scorpion and keep the combo going off an unreactable overhead. Now, once again, you need fast fingers to pull this off, but trust me, with enough practice, it's really not that difficult, and now you have an unreactable overhead that leads to full combos. And that's a much bigger deal than you think, because get this, Li Mei's low, which is also unreactable, is her go-to way of starting combos without needing to spend meter. Or in other words, you have a legit 50-50 with this character. If the opponent loves crouch blocking, hit him with the instant overhead, get a full combo. And then if he starts blocking high because he's scared, catch him with the low and get meterless combos. And once again, Li Mei's combo combos hurt. But if this instant overhead is a bit too tough for you, don't worry. Li Mei also has this. It's just Ford X. Now, this one is definitely reactable, but if you hold it, you can actually land and go for a throw or just more pressure. So it's a great move. And you guessed it, because it launches the opponent away, you can summon Scorpion and get a full combo. Man, I love this character. Scorpion makes her so much better. She's even rocking the Scorpion colors. What a team. Like I said at the very start of this video, Li Mei has the sauce. Unre reactable overheads and lows that both lead to 50% damage combos. And as mentioned earlier, Li Mei has frame advantage everywhere. This string is plus two, this string is plus seven. Check out her move list, and she has so many strings that are plus on block. It's absolutely mind-boggling. So yeah, this character can be a rushdown queen. And she also has this lantern, which I have to mention, because by default, it stops the opponent from jumping, right? It just locks down the sky. But then if used correctly, especially in the corner, or mid-screen with certain cameos, you can use this lantern to get some dynamite combos, and the damage is so good even without spending meter. Li Mei can easily get 40 or 50% damage. She is nuts. This character has sauce, and it took pro players to show me the light. I haven't seen her win tournaments yet, but I've seen her at the tournaments and doing pretty well, so this character can get it done. If you're a Li Mei fan, then get excited because she has all the tools you need. In fact, I've saved the best for last because this special move 
move if you spend bar is actually the fastest special move in the entire game. Look at that. Seven frames. That is insane. I know a lot of people don't like learning frame data. It can get boring. Trust me, I'm going to make this exciting. This attack also is seven frames, okay? Every character's fastest punish in this game is seven frames. However, the issue is they hit high, so it won't work on crouching opponents. Guess what? This special move hits mid. The opponent cannot avoid it, and it's the fastest any attack can be. And like you already guessed, it launches the opponent, which means you can follow up with Scorpion for a full combo. But why am I freaking out so much over this move being seven frames? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this move, one of the most annoying attacks in the entire game, just happens to be minus eight on block. Or in other words, if you block this really annoying spammable move with Li Mei, you can hit them with this and get a full combo punish. Literally no other character in the game can do this because their seven frame attacks hit high. Li Mei is the exception with a seven frame mid, which is super exciting and one of the greatest tools that she actually has. However, there's a reason I saved it for last. In order to pull this off, you have to have crazy reactions and also really, really fast fingers. And that's because you actually have to summon Scorpion before doing the special move. Otherwise, he does not get out in time. And thankfully on block, that is slightly easier because you can summon Scorpion while blocking and then do the special move immediately after. But once again, your reaction time and fingers have to be really quick. It's still doable. Don't get me wrong. It's not just a theoretical thing. You can pull this off. But I'm just saying it's by far one of the trickiest things to master with Lee Mei. But even so, I had to mention it because again, no other character in the game can do this. It's unique to Lee Mei. And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be Scorpion. There are other cameo characters who can likely combo off this too. But that said, this entire video has shown you why Scorpion is the best partner for Lee Mei at this point. So I don't recommend anybody else. I'm just saying that you could theoretically use other cameo characters. At the end of the day, Lee Mei is certainly not bad in Mortal Kombat 11. She has unreactable 50-50s, both of which lead to a full combo, and those combos do a lot of damage. And then on top of that, she has frame advantage for days. So many strings that are plus on block and just allow her to keep attacking the opponent, mix in some throws, and they're going to be fighting for their life. And then finally, she has the best punish in the game if you take time to master it. Or in other words, Li Mei does not suck in Mortal Kombat 1, and she certainly is not terrible. I recommend everybody watching this video go into practice mode right now, learn Li Mei, and have some fun with her online, because she has all the tools that you need to win. And as a Li Mei stand, that has me excited. I've wanted this character to come back for almost 20 years at this point, and now not only is she back, but she's also a very fun character with so much versatility and also requires a bit of skill, which means she won't get boring on you. But as you all know, I love making these videos interactive, so let me know your thoughts on Li Mei in the comment section down below. And then while you're down there, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It really does help my channel out a ton, and then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.